Oh, um, sort of part two of London. Uh, right, this is sort of, I'll treat this as a proper Wayne cast, right? Because there's a load of stuff I wasn't able to tell you last time. Because I was wondering about all this four post bed shite, right? Um, and yes, it does look like a dollhouse, as somebody said. Um, right, but I like it, it's nice, you know. I didn't tell you one interesting thing that happened over Christmas. Um, Christmas Eve, well, actually, the day before Christmas Eve. Um, we still had a few of the major presents to get for Kane, our oldest, uh, who's four and a half. And I did a, one of those, right, that's it, I'm going to go to the Metro Centre, big shopping centre, and we've got Toys R Us, I'm going to get the whole lot in tonight. And the wife's like, are you mad? It's, you know, you haven't even got a list. I'm like, look, just write it all down there, just write what you can remember, I'll go and do it. So I went in, by the way, if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm trying to keep an eye on the bath as well. And the plug doesn't seem to uh, work properly. It's got a leak on it. But anyway, <coughs> I went to uh, Toys R Us, got everything in, and I motored along, and I put the phone in my ear like this, and I said, right, I, can, I can relax now, and hot attack's over. I've managed to get what we need. Uh, I said, I'm, gonna, I'm feeling a bit shattered, so I'm going to have myself a nice slow walk around, relax a bit, and just chill out for a couple of hours before I come back. And she's like, yeah, fine, no problem, sort of thing. Um, and I'll put the phone away, and I literally said, right, that's, that's that sort of them. I can, you know, get myself put together a bit. Um, looks up, and you know those scenes in the movie where, the, you know, the person stands still, but the background zooms away. I had one of those moments, because standing in front of me on a shelf was something me and Glenn Southern designed two years ago. We paid the magnificent sum at the time for this range of thingies. Uh, I won't tell you what it is just yet. Uh, 300 quid. I think it was each, um, and we worked for a company called Designed Up by Touch, and anyway, but I'll tell you what the name of it is, now if you're in England they won't make a lot of sense, alright, because we, we don't have them very much over here, but over, apparently everywhere else, when I mentioned it on Twitter, it's massive, these things have fan adverts, as well as proper adverts with stars on them, there's hundreds of the bloody things, they've even got Spider-Man ones, and that's the eye dog, yep, yours truly in England, so they were responsible, in part, for the eye dog. Uh, which is rather ironic because it means that of all the scary shit I've done in my life without doubt the most successful thing I'll ever do will be the eye dog it's been a worldwide success and raised millions now the trouble is if you look on Wikipedia I'll tell you that Sega designed it oh no Sega weren't responsible in any way shape or form maybe the mechanical shit inside but the design well now you know Let's see how this bath's doing that's my bath and no I'm not videoing it they look like that. Oh. Um, yeah, so I, I fairly stink a bit. So I'll let it sort of. Oh, shite. I'm trying to get the wipe to try this uh, little application out I found. Um, I was trying to solve my Wi Fi problem here in the hotel um, by having a sort of app that would allow me in to tunnel into networks. Yes, it's illegal, but what am I going to do? You know. What files to send. Um, but as it happens, it doesn't work anyway. And I said, we'll try it on the one at home, just out of interest, and it just gives a debug error, so rubbish. Um, shame, because it had this nice radar thing as well. It's great. You used to scan around, you get the iPhone, apparently, called Wi Fi radar. Uh, have a look for it. <laughs> Not that I'm condoning in any way, shape, or form illegal activities are just hacking the Wi Fi. Oh no. Perish the fucking thought. Um, but yes. Anyway, so that was one thing. Two, I've got a, uh, a teaser cinematic to do for a um, triple-A title game. Now, this would be alright, apart from the fact that on that laptop right now, mode box has deactivated itself. It will not activate again. Um, I've got my old Intuos, which you can see there, which has got a bloody dead spot in the middle, and the client said, uh, oh, by the way, we need it on Friday. That's tomorrow, right? So at midnight tonight, it's got to be handed in. Um, the only problem with that is I'm not at home, I haven't got my stuff, and um, I'm fairly screwed. So I've had to call some favours in from all the desks. Dave Cardwell's got in touch with Andrew Cameron, she's got in touch with some other people, and lots of people have had conversations. And later tonight, I should be getting an activation code, which gives me a couple of hours uh, to have a bath, finish and model off. Now, let's see, this is what I didn't want to do. Because any cinematic these days gets judged against the likes of Blur Studios and Blizzard, that sort of quality. And I really want to do something that quality now. What I'll probably end up doing is handing them 
uh, the medium res and keep the fine stuff when I get back because there's no way I want my name put in anything less than my standard, okay? So that's something as important as this. So yeah, had a whole lot of things to do. Only five minutes on this one. I might actually cut this into uh, two bits. I'll have to uh, send a message to the wife. But uh, yeah, so today it work went well. <coughs> uh, got a scene, one scene finished. Um, it's not the world's most complex scene, but because it was planned by um, a 2D guy with no idea of how 3D applications work, let alone Maya, but I've got a use for this. Um, and Maya's books. Oh god, Maya's books. I really am going to hate that program. Uh, but also love it at the same time, it's weird. Uh, it's like a love-hate relationship I've always had with Maya. It's the first time I ever use you know. So there you go. Um, well, first one professionally, 3D Max I used for a week and then said it, was, it would never catch on. I've told you that story before. Uh, so, it's we've had lots of freaking big sort of bugs, or rather I have, that didn't have solutions. And I've had to come up with solutions on the spot, just pooh, solution, right? Um, and I've managed it and I've pulled off the impossible. The, what I've done actually looks incredibly simple if you break it down, but it's not. It's nearly impossible to do in Maya unless you break it down and break it down. There was one bit I did have to uh, get in touch with somebody from Autodesk and me and just say, look, what the fuck? <laughs> and he's like, oh, well. <laughs> and that got me out of that hole. So, uh, yes, I'm still taking the wife. I'm going to have to, you know. Uh, right. So, yeah. It's, uh, God, this bathroom is slow enough, isn't it? How warm was it? Let's have a look. Motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, I thought. Um, so yes, this is my Yundu. But I wouldn't open. I might have sly cigarettes. Not that I'm ever going to admit to it. Can't say that too loudly. Neither have I been outside sitting on scaffolding and having cigarettes. Yes, um. What? Well, yes. Yeah, I do do crazy shit like that. Totally about no disregard. I'm going to totally disregard from all on uh, safety hoes I've had. That's why I drink so much caffeine and do all the things I do. Uh, yeah, so it's um, it's been a, a good day today. Everything's wound up. In fact, the scene was ready by, what, half past one, two o'clock this afternoon? And the next four hours I spent waiting. I couldn't get approval on it. In fact, I couldn't start anything else, but I couldn't, I didn't know what to start anyway, right? I hadn't been told. Um, but I couldn't get approval on that until the guy came up with me. And he was in the meeting for four hours instead of an hour. Which could be ominous, we don't know yet. Um, so it meant that I could catch up on the emails, pimp, live in Berlin, it's out now. It's out. Download and DVD. The stream will be coming as well, along with combinations, okay? I go to Mudbox Live. It's got its own domain name. It's been, they Autodesk did a big splash on, um, on the area. They also uh, put it on the blog as well on the area. Uh, I've given a couple of posts here and there. I haven't done a whole lot because I haven't got most of the links on this machine, right? This this old tech, I haven't got all the links on it. It's not my usual laptop. Cause I forgot to take the you know all my bookmarks and shit. But I've I've pimped on a few sites but I would appreciate it if people you know go and, and buy it or download it or just go and view the stream. Because this is without doubt the one DVD I'm most proud of out of the what anywhere between seven and nine depending on how you count right and I've done. I've put more work into this than anything else. The production qualities, I kid you not, are as high as anything else out there. That's why it took so long. There was no way that was going to go out until I had it looking nice. I didn't just want to do a HTML menu, a few vids, I said, no, 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 those days are over, right? I said every time I release a disc, I will up quality. So far, I have. Uh, and the next one, the quality could be even higher. Uh, we will continue the live series. Well, I'm not going to tell you uh, what will be in the live series or where the next one's at because to be honest that depends on a whole lot of shit uh, including where I'm asked to go uh, next year or this year if anywhere uh, if I'm not that's what kills that dead in the fucking water but I do know I've got to do Holland um, that also coincides with my son's birthday which is not good alright I did try to get them to move that before they made the date but 
Unfortunately, they've got the wrong date to move it to, and they moved it directly onto his birthday. So I'm going to have to leave on the afternoon of Cain's birthday. Not ideal for a father. I am a bit gutted. The wife is incredibly pissed off, and I cannot say I blame her. But she knows that work sometimes comes first, and it could be argued that um, Holland gave me a big break last year. Let's see what the time is. Shit, better go.